What's up guys? Okay, so we're going to finish uh, finish doing the ML Hero now. So what we had before was we just had this black block, some um, face right there. Now we're gonna add in the eyes. So I'm gonna say let eye color equals UI color dot white color. Just kind of keep it simple here. And left eye equals SK sprite node. Um, the color is going to be just the eye color we just designated. And the size, we're gonna make it about six by six points here. For the right eye, there is a function called copy, which we can use. So we can say left eye dot copy dot copy as SK sprite node. And the reason we have to do this as SK sprite node shtick is because the dot copy method is actually a method of um, the any object class and base every single object is a subclass of any object so um, we just have to designate what the copy function returns is a type of any object if we want to actually use any of the sk sprite node functions we have to say okay this we know this is an any object but we also know that this is going to be this is an sk sprite node and yeah so now we're gonna set up the pupil really fast. Equals SK sprite node uh, color UI color dot black color CG size make three by three for our pupil. Now um, we're gonna set up the pupils and the eyes before we actually add the eyes to our hero. So I'm gonna say pupil dot position equals CG point make. A two zero right here. Um, now we're going to add the pupils to our eyes. So we're going to say left eye to add child pupil, and right eye to add child pupil. But we can't. If we tried to do this right now, um, let's actually just quickly see uh, what happens. There actually is an issue with this code right here. So. Um, let's actually add the eyes to the face so we can actually see what's going on there. So we're going to say left eye dot position equals CG point make minus four, roughly about there. Um, face to add child left eye and right eye dot position equals CG point make. Anytime you are coding out, like hard coding out, uh, graphics. It takes quite like a, a pretty significant chunk of code. So uh, bear with me as we kind of get through this part. Uh, also, I'll have the code up on GitHub if you guys just want to kind of copy all this code over up to you. But we're all we're over halfway, to, oh, how, over halfway there to finishing this. So I'm going to run this really fast. You're going to see that it gives us this error. And if we pull this up, it's going to give us the reason as attempted to add a SK node, which already has a parent. So we tried to add pupil twice to our scene. Um, that is not going to work because it, it won't automatically create a copy of pupil. We have to do the same thing we did up here. The um, left eye dot copy. We're going to say pupil dot copy as SK sprite node. And now when we add this, ooh, if I can, if I type that right. Now when you add this, you're going to see that we're not going to get that error. And we have the start of a little character here. So, sweet. Now um, we're going to add an eyebrows. It's actually amazing how much eyebrows add character to your character. <laughs> like, I was a little, he got, kind of looks a little freaky right now because he doesn't have any eyebrows. And, um, but as soon as you add him in there, he just kind of like takes on a life of his own. So, as much as any blocky character can, I suppose. So we're gonna say right here, we're gonna say UI color dot black color for our eyebrow. Its size is going to be uh, 11 by one point. Its position here, we're going to say um, eyebrow dot position equals cg point make let's say um let's say like minus one left eye dot size dot height over two 
And what this is going to get us, the left eye dot size dot height, that's just going to get us a position or a Y value that's halfway up uh, from the center of our eye, which is where we want our eyebrow to be positioned. I'm going to say then left eye dot add child eyebrow. And remember the eyebrows are positioned to their parents. So they're just going to be positioned to each eye, which is why um, which is the reason why we only have to set the position on our eyebrow once. I'm going to say right eye to eye child eyebrow dot copy as SK sprite down. I just need to remember to do that. So just to check this out really fast, see our guys coming along. Let's check out those eyebrows. Those I, I just love adding eyebrows to things because it gives them so much more uh, expression. So. Cool, so we have our eyebrows set up. Now we just need to do our arms, hands, and feet, and then we are finally finished with this dude. So I'm gonna say let arm color equals UI color. Um, where are we, All right? UI color 46 over 255, 46 over 255, 46 over 255, one point, value of 1.0. Then our arm, you say we set the arm as a global variable up here. The reason we're doing this is because when the hero starts running, we want to rotate that arm back so it kind of looks like, gives him a better um, illusion of kind of moving forward there. So we're gonna say arm equals SK sprite node, color, arm color. And we're going to make this guy about size of width of eight and a height of 14. Um, now right here, this point might seem a little bit confusing. The reason I'm gonna set a pretty funky anchor point right here because it's gonna be 0 0.5, 0 0.9 because when we rotate the arm, it's gonna rotate itself around that anchor point. So if you, if you can kind of picture this, our anchor point is gonna be in, at an X value of in like in the middle and a Y value of near the top. So that's kind of like, if you think of your own shoulder, it's the anchor point's gonna be kind of um, at that joint at your shoulder and your arm. And you'll kind of see, um, you'll see more of why we're doing this when we actually animate the arm to rotate backwards. So for our arm.position, we're gonna say CG point make uh, minus 10, minus seven. And then finally, we're gonna add our arm on here. And I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna show this, we're just gonna add, we're gonna finish all this stuff and you'll see what the guy looks like um, as, at the very end here. Or you can kind of start him up and see him at each phase of this thing. So for our hand, we're gonna make this just um, the skin color, the skin color that we established up here. And um, the size of our hand is gonna be, let's see, we wanna make the size of our hand the same width as our arm. So it's gonna be arm.size.width and the height is going to be about five or so. So when we are positioning our hand, we have to keep in mind, um, this is one, one annoying thing about changing this to be a funky anchor point right here is we have a kind of funky, funky positioning conversion we have to do. So we want to set the X value of zero. That's just going to keep the hand in the center. For the Y value, we are going to um, do this kind of weird thing right here. We want to do minus arm dot size dot height times 0 0.9 plus hand dot size dot height over two here. So this right here is just correcting for that anchor point. Um, I would just kind of type it in here and you can kind of, if you kind of go through um, what's happening right here, you should be able to kind of figure a way through why that's working. But um, I don't really know, I don't think I'll be very good at explaining that. So I'm just gonna leave this as standalone code. Uh, okay, after that, we're gonna say hand up position and we're gonna say arm dot add child hand. So now we have our hand connected to, as a child node of our arm. And last but not least, we're going to do our feet. So left foot equals SK sprite node. Um, UI color dot black color is gonna be our left foot. CG says make. We're gonna make our feet about nine by four here. Our left foot dot position is going to be 
Uh, let's type, okay, I know I typed that correctly. Equals CG point make. Um, I'm gonna say this is roughly minus six, minus size point height over two plus left foot dot size dot height over two. So you see right here, this is gonna get us, um, this is gonna get us to the bottom of our ML hero node. Then we want to add in half the size of the left foot so it's attached to the body there. So positioning in Sprite Kit, you kind of get used to it. Um, it pro probably seems a little bit confusing and kind of like a lot of work to do all this relative positioning, but you, you, you get used to it. So if it seems kind of weird right now, don't worry too much about it. So for right foot, we wanna do make it as a copy of the left foot with the one difference being that we wanna change the position so that, um, actually we just, we just wanna change the X value to be a position of a zero. So he's just kind of shifted to the right rather than um, on that left foot. And if we did all this correctly, let's cross our fingers. If we run this, ooh, okay, not quite. So it looks like maybe, um, what was going on here? So if I change, this to be roughly four maybe. Okay, there we go. So you see our right foot kind of coming out right there. We wanna probably do this. Let's try six. It still seems a little bit close together. So I'm gonna say right position dot, right foot position is gonna to equal to eight. And yeah, okay, so I like that position. So we're gonna keep that. And cool, now we have a basic sprite here for our hero. In the next video, we'll focus on starting some animation. And yeah, we're moving along nicely. See you in the next video, guys.